previously on Lost Judgment. I'm still drunk. What the hell, Mr. Kitty? How the heck? I can't sleep off my fucking buzz. Mr. Kitty, you got anything for the hangovers? Yeah. What is it? Show it to me. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Mr. Kitty, I just discovered this shit last night. Are you a mind reader? Matana. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Kitty. Don't mind if I do. And now back to lost. <laughs> Mr. Kitty, good. You're here. I've been noticing this weird energy in the air. Do you have something to do with it, Mr. Kitty? Uh -huh. Well, if it's not you, then who? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, what is this intense fucking spiritual energy? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Where is Yagami? Who the fuck is that? Aren't you doing an LP with him? I don't know, man. I'm not his fucking manager. You're useless to me. Be gone, peasant. No! <laughs> I will let you live, Mr. Kitty. Tell everybody what you saw here today and let them know I'm back. Sneako B, back with some more Lost Judgment. We last left off, we went to go look for Soma and we didn't find him. <laughs> I will say, I, I think I think this last section that we went through is probably the most obvious filler that we've had, I think, in all of the main stories so far. Like so far, it's been pretty well paced and it hasn't done too much of what Yakuza has definitely done in the past where there's just like this moment where the story just stops, right? Like just a thing happens or a thing gets inserted like a lot of times it's like a random like side story like i think last game that we had this random non sequitur with kaido where we like i don't know yagami had to help kaido out because we were just like killing time and it's not like it was a bad you know side story or anything it was just felt so out of place yeah it just felt weird in the middle of like the main story like this should have been a sub story but they made it part of the main story for some reason and while i don't think this was that egregious it definitely feels like they were trying to pad out the game a little bit because what do we do we, we literally went into like this this building right i fought a few dudes some just random freaking jobbers i stealth killed a few guys i did a little bit of parkouring and then i get to an area find the dude from the beginning of the game find that soma is not here see a dude that i've never seen before fight him in a quick boss fight and immediately finish him off and then have like the the dude tell me where he actually is like it really was like like we could have cut this whole part of that out of the game and it wouldn't have changed anything <laughs> like it definitely felt like we just needed some additional stuff to do. Not to mention, I also got a random tutorial in the parkour section, you know, and fucking what? Two chapters away from the end of the game. That's like, by the way, did you know that Yagami could slide down pipes? Just fucking win. What was that ever an option to me? Yeah, I definitely can see parts of this game sort of it feels like they were they were done separately in some ways right and then put together and they didn't really know the best way to put them together right like like i had this level ready and and, and waiting we, they didn't know how to use it or implement it best in the story so just kind of like threw it in there i don't know it just it definitely does seem like there are some things in here that weren't super well thought out especially in terms of mechanics like the parkour thing the tailing stuff even even the tailing stuff is actually really not showing up much in this game which isn't a complaint mind you but it's like aside from actually a lot of the fights like the detectiving stuff right is it really too much of a priority this game except mainly in the side stuff in the main story it's like non-existent and that's just a little weird like it really does feel like majority of like the the confrontations and things in this game have just been fights and i like the fighting and the fighting is a lot of fun but it does seem to be falling back into just like what yakuza was right and i think the series what makes it interesting is that it, it's supposed to be like kind of a new take on it right it's like yagami is not yakuza he's just he's just a detective guy with who can fight but we like to i like to actually see him do some detectiving and also i mean i thought that the stealth thing was actually like a, not a bad idea and i actually wouldn't mind to see it fleshed out but it, i don't think it's done well in this game it's super like on rails and very scripted like you really have like no control over how you go about it but i would not mind seeing that be more of an option like make it a bit more free free forming and like hell let you run around the city sneak up on fucking thugs and like take them out somehow or like a stealth kill i i mean i know like the, the thought of like taking out like three or four guys like from behind is kind of a nuts and maybe that is maybe you could take out like a few of them so it's like it's easier it makes the fight easier i don't know just like let it be a little more free form and then the other thing that happened though that this was pretty significant kusamoto's son freaking woke up just randomly 
And Bando's like, oh, well, look at that. And something that didn't even occur to me, because I, I was like, it, it didn't even like hit me the significance of like how that would actually affect things here. Like, as initially she was like, screw it. It doesn't matter what happens. I'm going to turn myself in. I'm going to burn my whole career because I feel awful for what happened to Sawa Sensei. I need to atone for my crimes, right? And Bando's like, well, like, I guess I can't do anything. And then the then the sun wakes up and that and now suddenly she has a motivation not to burn her whole career right and throw her life away shit <laughs> it did, that didn't even occur to me i was like oh god yeah i was i was like oh that's great he's awake cool i maybe he'll tell us about some dang clue or new clue or something that'll help us with something i, I didn't even think about that shit damn it son all these years and you pick fucking now to wake up I know, Mr. Kitty. I'm all pulled by his timing, too. But anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Super Dante F said, So fun fact, the Nikio Consortium that Irie, Soma, and Akutsu were a part of was a black ops group whose first president was Masaru Sera, the third chairman of the Toshio clan. Both Kiryu and Majima helped him get the empty lot in Yakuza 0. Edit. Regarding party members that fought alongside you, in the first Judgment game, they were very aggressive to the enemies. In this game, they were toned down. My guess as to the reason for this is because the SP battle bonuses you can get. Since if they finished the enemy, you wouldn't get any. It's the only explanation that makes sense because these guys can be useless at times. Yeah, I, I, uh, I really don't like how they did it here. I think it's actually really stupid. <laughs> I mean, I get if that is the case, like, okay, that sort of can make sense. But the thing is, you're not with your party members that often. And it's not like there isn't a plethora of fuckheads here to get experience from and shit like that, you know? Hell, they could have added, like, an additional, like, objective, SP objective for, like, an ally getting a kill for you, right? That would, I would have solved it as well. But they really, like, they made them so stupid in this game, and I really don't like it. It's, like, it makes them feel kind of pointless. When in, like, the previous game, they were actually, like, kind of going in on, on dudes. I don't know. It's a little immersion-breaking, you know? I, I'm not sure if I totally agree with the decision to do that. But I knew I'd heard the Nikio Consortium before. So all the way back in Yakuza 0. Damn, it has been a while. But, yeah, now, now I remember what now you guys have brought it up. But, uh, Super Dante F, thank you so much for your, uh, clarification there. And I, I guess also potentially what could be why the party members are so dumb this game. And it's that reason you are comment to the day. All right, Mr. Kid, seriously, you're pissing me the fuck off. What do you want? Yes, I know. Look at your face. Ah. All right, Scorpion. But a more great. That's that's perfect. I'm not hung over though, Mr. Kitty. I don't need that. Yeah, get out of here. God damn it. Why am I not hung over? Kyle, let's go get a drink. Yagami, you have a problem, okay? You need to see help. Shut up. You don't know me. I stop getting fucked up whenever I want. I just choose not to. Ever. Not until I get all the completion points, Kaido. What completion points? What are you even talking about? The completion point, Kaido. I gotta fill it out. Don't you have the app? Don't you have the Town Go app? It makes a fucking achievements out of real life, Kaido. Look at this. They even have my face in it for some reason. Yagami, there's nothing on your phone. What? There's nothing there. Don't you fucking lie to me. There's nothing there. It's time to wake up, Yagami. Shut up. Shut up, Kaido. Ah, I can't hear you. La, 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 la. Okay, so it's our new day. Where are we going? We're going to Yagami 99. Uh, I think something's going to happen the moment I actually show up here. Oh, I guess not. I just saw the the, the icon. Issei Ijin Show was like highlighted. I guess it just made that's where you need to go, but usually when it does that, it means like the moment I step out of this car, we're gonna get a cutscene. Oh, that's interesting. It actually took me right next to Yokohama 99. I don't think it usually does, unless I'm drunk. I think usually whenever I come here by default, like straight to a, to a Jean show, it actually takes me over here. But the game knows there's main story to, to be had. I'll oh, so you check my board and see if anything news popped up. Yeah, this is Yagami. Yagami. Oh. スユロクワナさんを探そうと聞き込みに出てます。ただ、ハンピンルーマンのところからソーマは偉人町からRKに指示を出してるらしいんだけど。ええ、でも偉人町のどこにいるかまでは掴めてません。なるほど。だから膠着状態か。You know, I will say I'd heard that apparently over at Sega, they're doing a like a bring together of a bunch of different studios for a very large project. And I saw some people pitch an an idea and a thought that I thought actually could be kind of interesting. And that's like the idea of an actual like open world Yakuza game, right? 
Because that definitely, if that was something they consider, that would be a lot of manpower, right? And I do think that would actually be really cool because there is one thing about these games that is sort of, again, it could be a bit immersion breaking. And that's the feeling like, so we have two cities, right? Maybe there's like a third one or something, but generally it's like one, either it's all, commerce is always going to be there and then something else, right? And whenever there's like, you know, this guy's working out of this place or is going, to, he went and hit out in this place. It's like, he's always going to be in one of these two cities, right? And I know it's a little bit like, it's a little thing, but it's like, how many times in this game alone have we been like, this guy's been on the run. Where is he? Oh my God, he's back in a Jean Cho again. You know, you're like, of course he fucking is, right? It's not like, oh, he's down in random suburb place. You know, if like there was, this was actually a, like there are multiple cities you could travel to and like they're each their own locale. Like you, you you're like, I don't know where he could be. Oh shit, we'll have to look this, look up this random random spot over here you know like like there's a lot of potential for that and that feeling of like constant exploration and i mean that would that would be a lot of work and it'd be really hard but i think the, that idea that would be really cool like that'd be a really big i think step forward for the series to have something like that right and it would definitely be stepping much more in line to what with what an actual like gta game was you know whenever you you actually hear about these games before you play them you always assume it's like a japanese gta and it's not really but Having an like, actual like open world, maybe you'd even be able to actually like drive a like a vehicle of some kind would definitely bring it more in line with it. But I, I don't actually think that's too bad of an idea. You know, you still I don't think you should still be like, you know, allowed to just run around and like kill civilians. But give me that level of freedom might be fun. Anyway, I should scope out what's going on in Jinsho. Hopefully I find Lena Kwan or Sam, Soma somehow. Am I, am I ready to waste time? Uh, uh, check up on a Jean show. Wait, I can't check my... Ah, oh, I can't check my board. Fuck. Got out. You gonna do anything? No, I'm gonna sit here and eat all Sakuma's food. You fat fuck. You too, Mr. Kitty. Yeah, that's where I'm talking to you. But not you, Shiba Bernie. Who's a good Shiba? Who's a good little Shiba Bernie? I know that you are. You're such a little bugger. Okay. All right. So what do I need to do? I guess just move a certain distance away from where I currently am. Walk down the street till I hit get a phone call, right? Let's see. Let's see what happened. Here we go. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Yeah! <laughs> I called it. By which I mean, you called me. Yo. また <laughs> RKやら公安に面が割れてるみたい。まずは誰にも付けられないよう握りにしろ。監視の目を振り払うな。どうやって。それはそっちで考えてくれよ、探偵さん。支度ができたら沢君のマンション前に来い。沢先生。ああ。
Oh, come on, dude. Really? You two? You guys are no fun. I want to tiger drop all of you. I'm going to still call it tiger drop because the other one's too hard to say. It's like dragon crushing fist or some shit. It's tiger drop. All right. It'll always be tiger drop to me. Yo, what up, Tesso? Yo, Kyodai. Nanka yake ni shizuka da ne. RK no shugeki ga atta ndatte. Wakai mon ga futa. Knocked over all my plastic chairs. Onemade yarare te byouin yokuri ni sareta yo. Itsu no mani ka ore ra yori RK no ga kazu fuyashite yagaru. Koko wa ijin chou datta no ni. Soto e ippo dere ya mou away da. Renchu no nerai wa yappari kuana datta.間違いねえだろ。クワナはうまく脱出したみてえだな。連絡が取れなくなってる。あいつからはさっき連絡があったよ。これから会いに行く。本当か。うん。でもこのまま行ったら、俺がクワナのところにRKを案内することになる。まず
Yeah! I don't want to just let me put on whatever outfit I want at any time, all right? That should be that what the next game does. Don't just limit us to these fucking disguise moments. Why do they give us all this shit just if, if I, I can only do it at certain times? If I want to just look like a fucking clown, then it's my prerogative. Check this out. Woohoo! Pilot spin! Woo! This looks like, damn, did you see that? That pilot? Damn. Guy looked a lot like Yagami, didn't he? No, it was the pilot, dude. What? Dude, that's not what Yagami looks like normally. Stupid. Just a skateboarding pilot. We see him all the time. Right, guys? Right. Not Yagami. God, I'm so happy that I'm fucking done with Kyoko. <laughs> I'm so happy. So I don't have to be thinking about, like, it's nighttime. I better go fucking pop in again. I can just go. Not have to think about time of day anymore. You just like wearing that shirt a lot, don't you? I'm also an Uber driver part time. この船って博物館になってるやつだよね。ええ。でもこんな時間には誰もいません。先生も長居するような内装です。I <laughs> よ、悪かったな。わざわざ来てもらって。こっちはお尋ね者なもんで。we're going to fight again? Dozo, This is like an epic place to fight. Or we're just have an epic talk. Tessoたちに悪いことをしたよ。俺を探してRKが襲撃してきたんだ。ハンピン龍馬を兵頭も思っちゃいねえらしい。結局のところ相手は公安だ。日本中どこ行ったって逃げ切れるもんじゃない。それとRKの相馬は多分公安の潜入捜査官だ。登場会に入る前からずっとな
あああいつらはどれだけ残酷なことを人にしてるか分かってないそれは自分に痛みがないから自分が安全なとこにいると思ってるからだだから俺はそうじゃないってことをやつらに思い知らせたいお前らのやっていることにはいつか必ず報いがあるってな桑名この瞬間もどこかでやつらに苦しめられてる子たちがいるミツルやその子らのために何ができるか必死に考えた結果が今の俺だあんたの気持ちはよくわかるよ分かっちまう自分でも怖いくらいになでもそいつは野放しにするとすぐに正義をできなくなる暴走した正義が行き着く先はいつも同じだ自分の正義のための犠牲を都合よく正当化する例えば沢先生のような人の犠牲もくどい本当の正義なら真実を恐れない真実から逃げたりもしないあんたや楠本玲子が全てをさらけ出さない限り公安はどこまで持ってくる分かってんのか今のまま捕まったらあんた闇に葬られんだぞああそういうことになるんだろうな何でも俺は逃げ切ってみせる相手が公安だろうがないつでもそうできるように準備は重ねてきたそのために裏社会を生きてきたそんなうまくいくわけねえだろあんたはもう何人も殺してんだ全員受けるべき罰を受けてなかったやつらだあいつらを殺すのに社会は手を汚さないだから俺が手汚しているだけだこれから先もな13年前に満が飛び降りた日俺は自分に呪いをかけたんだよどうせ一生かけたって満には償いきれねえんだ俺は自分がどうなろうが構わないその代わり最後までやらせてもらうじゃあなんで俺をここに呼んだそんな話して俺が褒めてくれるとでも思ったかまさかお前がそんな物分かりのいいやつだとは思ってないよでもだからお前にはいろいろ話しすぎちまったのかもななんだよ江原さんにこれを渡しそびれてた悪いんだがお前から渡してくれないか頼めるのはお前だけなんだああ江原敏郎これには江原さんへのメッセージが込められてるあの人の復讐を最後まで一緒に仕上げるつもりだったんだがもうそうも言ってられないだし俺は今日限りこの顔も名前も変えて消える俺があんたをこのまま行かせると思うか<笑>別れに未練は禁物だぜダメだ引き下がれないんだよこっちも昔真実を追い切らなかったことで俺は寺沢恵美という女の子を死なせてる罪を逃れた人殺しはその秘密を守るためにまた人を殺すあんたや楠本玲子もいつかそうなるかもしれないやっぱりなお前と会ったらこんな風になるんじゃないかと思ってた逃げるならお気はないよあんたが何人殺してるとしても俺はその証拠を持ってないんだ捕まえたところで監禁でもしとかない限りあんたはまた逃げるだろうじゃあどうすんだあんたが自分の意思でここに残るまで俺は説得し続けるあんたも楠本玲子もまだ救うことができると信じているからフッ<笑>たくソーマアルケーカなんでやつらこの
の場所が分かったんだいいかみんな喜多方先生は殺すなよその代わり八神の方は逃がさなきゃどっちでもいいお前は監視を振り切ってここへ来た俺もそうやつらに面が割れてるからな嫌でも慎重に動かなきゃならなかったなら後をつけられたのは俺でもお前でもなく赤池だった可能性が高い赤池赤池赤池赤池赤池赤池と俺とのつながりに気づいたんだよこれが何を意味するかわかるかあんたよく今そんなことに気が回るな楠本さんだよ彼女以外赤池と俺のつながりを知らねえはずだえつまり楠本さんが俺を公安に打ったどうやら彼女が心変わりする何かがあったんだ Told her sons alike she didn't give a shit anymore! Oh, that sucks. Ah,、oh, bitch. Don't、we'll、say we're not fighting each other. We're fighting with each other. Alongside each other. Something like. Alright, I'm gonna leave you here. 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 I'm gonna l e a 了解よく考えとく Together いいよみんなほらもう行けっておうこいつら二人ともなんか技持ってるぞ逃がさねえように足から行け今までのザコとはちょっと違う感じだなああでもこっちのやることはいつもと一緒だ Let's do it Together. You better do some shit, man. I swear to God, you're not leaving me hanging like all my other RP. Ah,、oh, fucking members. Oh shit. Oh god, that one guy. I guess the same moves that the other guy did we fought. The other guy we just, like, just met. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck. Oh, d o g g o Yes. Bernie s h i b a to save the day. Yeah! Get him! Bonk! <laughs> Fuck it! And then he died from that. Yes! Good dog! That's a good dog! Oh!、Uh, oh god, I'm literally about to die. I have to hear with all of you! All of you must die! Ah! Cannonball! <laughs> Damn, this guy's got a lot of health, dude. Holy shit. That's how you know we're getting to endgame. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fucking dead. Bleh, fuck. That did some damage. Holy shit. I'm all juiced up on all this stuff. Uh, uh, uh. No way. I haven't seen this one yet. Ah,、oh, give me your gun. Stupid gun, guys. Power. Ah,、uh, I'm speedy as shit now. Oh shit, Kawana, take that. Let's go.、Uh, that was pretty basic, but it, I'll take it. So he starts off with a bat and switches to a gun. Ah, oh my god, that's so much stupid damage. Okay, there we go. Ow. Boom. Thanks, Kawana. You didn't do dick either. s o I'm gonna hold that one guy. <laughs> just, just standing there in his pose. Nah. Tatta Futari, I tell you, Konani Tekozu Tetcha. Our game, Mada Mada, the Yorijana. Mina Tenka no Dojo Kai that Tandro. Kambani Hazkash Kunai Shigoto Shinaka. Goddamn allergies. Man, how, much, how many times do I get bloody in this game? Nemo, what do we got? So naive on Janezo? Wait, run up! Ask her, you get it. Holy shit! Holy mother! Where the hell did that come from? Oh, that 
Whoa, oh my god, he's fucking flying. Whoa, damn, Quanta far. Holy shit, look at that fucking boat! Cool guys, don't look at explosions! Yosh, Tishu! Uh, all this ash and ass. My nose is now really stuffy. Really? You're not gonna. I'm, I'm like right there. You guys could just kill me. Hold a gun and shoot me in the face and I'd be dead. Could give me a heads up, man. Yeah, warning might have been nice. Good thing I wasn't directly behind you, dude, or I would have eaten shit. Or eating more shit. Well, so much for that. My part doesn't mind it. A little, a little banged up. Whatever. Fuck that guy anyway. Now I'm even dirtier. Look at me. I'm so gross. I'm gonna jump in the ocean to wash off. Okay, time to book it before the cops show up. Oh shit! Scales of justice. Uh, okay. Holy shit, we are on to the final chapter of the game. Wow, so these, so those last two sub stories do not show until the end. I guess that makes sense, right? But they probably don't want you fighting a moan like before the final chapter of the game. So, all right, chapter 13, the final chapter. It's all coming to a head. It seems like someone might be the final boss. Though. Hey guys, remember him? I sure don't. ヤガミは潜伏中のクワナと京都を目指すが誰も知らないはずのその場所に相馬が襲撃を仕掛けてくるそれは楠本玲子の裏切りを示す事態だった All right, final chapter, darkest before the dawn. You got me smoking a cig. This one's for you, Sawa Sensei. The end is nigh. Genta Sensei, Yube no Yokohama no Ken. Kikyo Bakudan Tero to Kotori Natta Mitai des. Ichime Shibo, Itai wa Yakete Shimate Mimoto Fume. それがヤガミの言ってた赤池君かええだと思いますああ、俺が聞いてるわけ爆弾を仕掛けられたとなりゃ警察が出ると考えるのが妥当だろうなるほどそうかもしれませんねただこの先赤い角の身元が判明したところで爆発現場にいたのは桑野かの相馬だの得体の知れない奴ばっかだとな
Man, are we still covered in fucking dirt and shit? I just walked right away from that explosion and never, never bothered to clean up. Holy shit! I'm kind of fucked up, though. そういうことだったんですね。今警察に自首すれば、あなたは13年ぶりに会えたミツル君とまた別れることになる。それもあります。これからあの子は自分の足で歩けるように人生を立て直さなきゃなりません。気が遠くなるような時間がかかるでしょ
Oh, I got the this thing unlocked. The Dragon Crushing Fist, True Crane Beast Slayer, and Secret Technique Twisting Viper. Verge of Death Brink Strike increases the damage of the following skills while your health is low. Oh, all, of, all those things. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's what I was building up towards. Huh? That's why you need it, right? That's why you needed all those other ones. Is that it? No, I still have this one, the Raptorial Spirit. Memoirs of an Eagle. All right, let's go ahead and get the final of the snake style moves. The Secret Technique def Defang immediately disarms any enemy you attack from front. It's not real powerful enemies. Booyah, Grandma. I know the ultimate snake. Oh, shit. Actually, you know, I fucking probably should have waited and checked to see if there was anything at the shop. Uh, nope. It might be on the gauntlet shit. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and uh, just head to your common 99 then. ヤンアミシ、もう戻りで体の調子はどうです。ああ、ちなみに町はどこ行ってもある系の連中がうろうろしてやがる。桑名のやつがどっからとっ捕まったら何かしら動きがあるだろうぜ。絵原に渡しといてくれってことだったんだけど。なんだよ。ああ。ひび入っちまってんじゃねえか。ちょっと突くもの方で調べといてくれるか。ただのペンダン取ってことはないと思う。承知しました。詳しくわかるまで絵原
And I'm guessing once that's done, this will be uh, the Amon case. So better just do it now, right? You guys already told me that this last chapter can get weird and that there's going to be moments where you will not be able to like go back to Kamurocho, which is apparently I think where you face off with Amon. Iqua and Monica, my son wants to go out on his first errand on his own, but I'm so worried about what might happen. I'd follow him if I could, but he made absolutely clear that I'm not allowed. If I do it anyway and he catches me, he might resent me for it. That's why I'd like you, the professional tailor. Oh, just as I mentioned, there, were, there weren't enough tailing missions in this game to watch over him in my place. We can discuss details over a wet kitchen if you're interested. My apologies if you're busy, but I do appreciate your serious job. This one sounds goofy. Some serious... It's kind of surprising. We're having this really goofy one in the middle of some serious shit here at, at the end, but... Or maybe it's not that surprising. I don't know. Isn't that just Yaksa in a nutshell anyway? I mean, so many of my cases at wet kitchen. You guys notice that? Oh, God. <gasps> Holy shit, Sakino! Holy shit, is that a leak? Take this! Ah! What the hell? I don't know what the hell's happening. It's amazing. Ah! Fucking die! Ah! I was just saying, this not too much damn. What in the fuck was that? Sakina, get the hell out of here! Save yourself! Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, oh god, there's full line! I thought they'd kill him! Me too! <laughs> hey, lady, can I get a Big, big Mac and fry? Ah! 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 Oh my god, I think she's fucking healing me with her love or something. I'm like glowing. Yeah, Sakina, I love you too, baby. Uh, uh, I think she actually is like buffing me. Uh, uh. Oh, that's the power of love, baby. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Every time she cheers, I glow. That's cool. Thanks, baby cakes. Oh my god, it was incredible. Holy shit. <laughs> she's still out here. Sakoi to sne. I know. I love you too. Now come over here and give Yagami some sugar. <laughs> Convenient pan up of the camera. <laughs> ah, that was great. Thanks. Thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> I can't talk to her. I can't be like... <laughs> she just, just remarks. Well, whatever. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, my God. I didn't realize that was even a thing. My girl wants to come out and do some heat actions with me. Hello, I'm Yagami. Here on behalf of Yagama99. Ah, so you're the detective. Nice to meet you. I'm Monica, the one who reached out to you. But it's all mine. Now, if I remember right, you want someone to watch over your son while he's out in the town. Yes, that's correct. Burr, burr. Just, you know, I'm only doing this so I can fight a moan. What? Who's that? Nobody. Don't worry. Our son, Taro, turned five just the other day. Five? Jesus. He wants to go on his first errand? Oh, yeah. I bet. I probably hired somebody to protect him, too. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. After a long debut with our son, we finally came to the agreement when you turn five you can go out on your own like a big boy looks like our stalling tactics finally blown up our faces sitting him out already huh they sure do grow up fast it's a big milestone for the little guy five is really little though <laughs> sure is so my wife and i recently played to watch from behind as he walked down the block on an errand there's just taking the terms of our agreement much more seriously mm -hmm. meaning he says if we follow him he's not really out on his own so if we follow him, he's going to get himself emancipated. Mm. Wow. Your son has quite the vocabulary. The hell have you been, what kind of Sesame Street has he been watching? Where do they pick this stuff up, huh? Regardless, it's not an issue we want to press with him, if you feel so strongly. But I'm sure you're aware of all the adults walking around here, along with the traffic and, you know, the fucking murderous thugs. Yeah, there's literally a whole alley full of them. I'm just too worried to let him go off on his own. We just moved to the city and we don't have any acquaintances here. So we figured we should ask a tailing professional. Please, sir, tell my son. I don't care what it costs. I can't just let him go and supervise like that. My heart couldn't take it. This guy's willing to pay me a thousand bucks for this, by the way. Oh, I wholly understand where you're coming from. I'll take the case. And I have enough experience with tailing that you won't have to worry about emancipation. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Here's a picture of Taru. Yeah. Looks like one smart little guy. Yeah, thank you. You know, don't know the half of it. Taro's so quick on the uptake, it's scary. We'll have to be real careful out there to avoid a suspicion. I see. Good to know. But please don't worry. I promise he's in good hands. He'll have an eyes on him the entire time he's out on his own. And he won't even know it. Oh, well, is that good to hear? Taro's ready to head out now. Down I Isizaki Road. His job's to buy some bread at Pocket Cafe, then go right back home. Somebody. So, he needs to tail from Isezaki Road to Pot Cafe and back. Yes. When you're ready, I'll call my wife and she'll let Taro out of the house. Yarby son, should I call my wife all my, so my son can get ready for his errand? I'm ready. Hey. Yep, I'm good to go. Got it. I'll make the call now. 
I'm gonna train my whole life for this moment. Yes, it's me. Commence the operation. Indeed, everything's moving along exactly as conceived. Now we play the waiting game. I figured I out where the kid got his vocabulary. <laughs> Hurry, right, Agami-san. I should return home. I want to see Taru before he leaves so he knows I'm not telling him. Best of luck in your endeavor. Yeah. All right. Leave it to me. I'll keep you updated. Oh, boy. Better get ready to tell us, kid. <laughs> oh, kind of, kind of, Kimizu, don't worry. Bring your security out there, talk. What the hell? They're supposed to be looking for Kawada. Yeah, I got bored like two minutes into it. <laughs> Kaido-san, were you here this whole time? Yep, just getting all stretched away for my DLC. You done with the game, Yagami? No. Come on, get done with the game so I can do my thing. No, no, I, I got a lot going on. And no, I don't care about that. I, mean, I got my thing, okay? I got a gameplay and shit too. It's really cool. But my story's gonna be way better than yours. Yeah, it's also like 10 times shorter. Shut up, that doesn't matter. It's quality over quantity, Yagami. Well, die yourself. I only stopped him for a bite. Oh, oh what a quinky dink. Oh. I'll join you on this case, if you don't mind. Eh? Really, Kano san? Oh. Yeah, I'm going with kids. And I mean, all we're doing is tailing the little guy, right? Besides, watching kids do grown-up shit like errands is pretty amusing. It's funny as fuck. I love it when they do that kind of stuff on TV. Oh, yeah. You and Agashi used to watch that one show back at the Matsugane family office all the time. Come on, let's bounce. Karo-chan's gonna be leaving soon. <sighs> yeah, it's Taro-kun. <laughs> Whatever, doesn't matter. Names aren't important. Guy's so fucking goofy. Man, I'm starting to get nervous. Uh, yeah? Why is that? <laughs> Come on! Ain't this the big first step for the kid? All sorts of stuff could go wrong. I might get lost. I might trip and eat it. <laughs> you see a kid come through the other end of something like that with a big grin. It's pretty great, you know? I better make sure I do a good job as guardian angel here. Uh, well, it's pretty much a straight beeline of the cafe from this place. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, well, there he is now. Big man in the streets. Just as some NPCs vanish. Yeah, oh, this kid's fucking ready. It's just amped up. Yeah, gotta go. Well, let's get to work. And Kaido's already gone. Now I got bored again. Bye. <laughs> it's kind of funny that Kaido's here. All right. Bounce, bounce, go, wow, 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 What's he doing? I guess he's just looking around. He's like, I'm on my own. I can do whatever I want. Nobody follow me but copy and paste NPCs. Damn, this is what Tilly missions are always like with you, Yagami. Yeah, pretty much. This is boring. He needs to go somewhere and do something. I mean, it's just a one long path. I mean, it's not really much place he can go. I can still see him. He's fine. I'm going to be here for a while. Yagami, I'm bored. Sing me a song. No, you sing yourself your own song. Ah. Uh, Oh, we gotta, we gotta go up there now. Why? There's a light. What does the light mean? Light means we gotta... God damn it, fucking... Kaido, will you just come on? Is the tailing complete? What the fuck? Well, that was easy. That was the hardest tailing mission in the whole game. Huh? Whoa. Oh, damn it. The, the fucking light betrayed us. <laughs> what the hell? You told us the light was good. I, I usually is. Run, Kaido. Crap. Ah, fuck. Mm. <laughs> Fucking. Whew, that was close. I know his dad warned us, but this kid's got eyes like a hawk. Oh. Yeah, but looks like we're not, not busted just yet. Let's just ke keep after him. Uh. Right, and what are we gonna do about this? Mm. We're, uh, well, hell, my name Nog is stuck. How about you, Talk? Uh. Yeah, um, I'm stuck too. I got the short one for kids. It's not good. Wait, this is for kids? Or I'm stuck, fuck. No kind of sign. Yours is for an adult. It's one. It's one of those things for a, a parent and a child to get pictures with together. Uh, Wait, the hell are you saying about the size of my head? Talk. You got a fat fucking head, you dickhead. Come on, we don't have time to do, to do a bit. <laughs> We're gonna lose Tarakun if we don't pick it up. All right. Then what do we do about this? Uh, Not much we can do. We have to literally pick it up and tail the kid. Guess we'll have to try playing it cool if we but if he busts us. <laughs> oh my god, really? You gotta be kidding me. Oh shit, here we go. This is about to get goofy. Oh, 
You see nothing. Yep, just a fucking poster. This is pretty funny. Oh, you tried to fake us out, didn't you, little asshole? やべ。この角度は腰が死ぬぜ。不思議しがいたくなってきた。俺は周りの人の視線が痛い。はあ。大殺人ムーブ。あ、ウェル。ネイチャーマジネ。さ、ダムアスファイアル。おい。だいそう
Can you help us figure out how to get this out of this damn thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe some soap would help. Let me go get some real quick. <laughs> Whew. Thank God that's finally off. I gotta put this back. The sooner I never left to look at it again, the better. Uh. Let's go burn it. Yeah, I like that even better. Here you there. Thanks, Gato. Mush, mush. Hello, this is Yagami. Hi, it's me, Monica. Thanks for watching over my son today. He just got home, safe and sound. He's going a mile a minute telling us all about it. Heh, <laughs> is that so? Glad to hear it. I'm also happy to report Tarakun seemed to do a fine job at the cafe. He told me he curb stomped somebody. What does that mean? Oh, nothing. What's the heat action? <laughs> just that much closer to all grown up. By the way, Yagami, are you aware of an animated son on his Isezaki Road? Huh? Tara mentioned there's a funny face son on Isezaki Road. I won't stop talking about it. He's trying to drag us over to go see it now. I was just curious who happened to see while you were out, out so we know where we're supposed to find it. Well, uh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. I was too focused on Tarakin. I guess. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm sure we'll find it eventually. It's really over the moon about the thing. But anyway, thank you for today. I'd love to reach out to you again if something else comes up. Yeah. Uh, but sorry, there, there isn't. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, there's literally nothing else. So no, you're never going to reach out to me ever again. I already know because I see the future. I'm waiting for Joe Moan. Next person that calls me is going to be Joe Moan, all right? If it's you, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, thank you. Please feel free to call us anytime. Bye. So, Darko wants to see the funny face sign again. Oh, come on. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there it is! <laughs> it was it was in this one all along! Raptorial Spirits were unlocked. Hey, with that, that's the last one. That's the last skill book. What does it do? Upon evading and slipping behind the enemy, they'll lose sight of you. This may also frighten the enemy. X when an enemy attacks. Wow. Cool. Oh, they wait, they really wait till the very end for you to get this one. Yeah, alright. Okay, so this should be a moan, right? Fucking better be. It's time, yep. Dr. Kiyagami, I wait you at Hamakita Park. Come. Fucking five billion dollars and 50,000 SP. It's time. Strange, glad I didn't leave any details for the request. Not even a name. I guess I everything to see what they want. Meet the client. The time has come and so have I. So Hamakita Park, huh? Is that in the open? I think about last time I, didn't I fight him in VR or something last time? Or somehow. I remember last time there was a gimmick too. I had to where I had to like alternate between my styles to like to actually do damage based on his form. I wonder if there'll be something like that. It's kinda like Ikaruga, where it was like red red beats blue and blue beats red or something. It was kinda it was kinda clever. Behold! Alright, which one is it? There's so many amones here. Hey bro. Uh, uh yeah, I think it might be the same one I fought last time. I mean it's not it's I don't think it's Joe, but this is Bloodthirsty Aura. Something's very wrong here. Call out to him. I know. Excuse me, but are you waiting for a detective? And so, I'm um, Yagami. It's been three years. Three excruciating years. Yeah, it's the same guy. Uh, all that time dedicated solely to revenge. I crossed the seven seas, defeating champions from country to country. I defeated a polar bear with my bare hands. Right, so it's all about now. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you take me to I think he just took me to cyberspace, like somehow. All right, he's probably gonna do it again. That stalker ambushed me that one time, last game. Final request, reprise. This was a duel, not an ambush. But yes, it is I, Shinamo. That's right. The strongest man you face. Mm -hmm. You might have been strong, but you still lost. Is that really something to brag about? Huh. Always quick with the wisecracks, aren't you? But which alone won't save you from a brutal defeat, for I've been reborn as the ultimate warrior. Consider this the return of Shinamon. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be that cheesy about it, why not go over the top? Rebuild of Shinamon, or Shinamon 2, Assassin's Boogaloo. I wasn't asking for your input. My name is all I have left. I was exiled from my clan because of you. I doubt some lowly detective can even comprehend the humiliation. Huh. I understand you're upset, but other than that, I'm kind of lost, man. Yagami, prepare to feel the wrath of three years in hell. Oh, fuck me. 
His aura. Holy shit. This power. Great. It's insanely tough the last time we fought. I feel like he's going to be gotten stronger still. It wasn't like it was too bad before. Well, like um, in the grand scheme of Amones I fought. Damn, bro, I might, might really be in trouble here. We'll see. Shin. Wait, what the hell? Who the hell's that guy? It's you with a different hair. Brother. Eh? Huh? You have a brother? So you're the man who put my pathetic excuse for a sibling to shame. I'm the elder of the twins, Juzo Amon. And I've been wanting to take a crack at you. Uh, great. So my stalker has a twin. I saw his twins. Step away, brother. He's mine. Silence, you embarrassment. Oh, she's fast. Gah, he knows Shunpa. He's fast. Now fall. Ah, holy shit. Ah, who the fucking flies away? Oh, my God. So anime. Slow motion falling. Uh. What? Just like that, he's dead. Oh my god, he's dead. He's actually he's actually dead. Don't look so disturbed. I was merely cleaning the battlefield for the real warriors. <sighs> Crap. This guy is really, really is bad news. Ah, before we get into it, it's time I do the usual. The serum doesn't quite match the mood, wouldn't you say? And what is the usual exactly? Surely you know what I mean. You've seen this once before. To cyberspace. Or something. Eh? Donnie the fuck? Am I in the Matrix? All right, you need to tell me how you did that. Let's not worry about the details. Uh, these are kind of big details here. I will not waste more time on idle talk. Come, Yagami. Oh boy, here we go. Damn, look at that HP bar. Stop the music. Show me. I can't. I, I'm, I'll be curious if this is really gonna be tough as nuts or not because it's all the shit this game is giving me. Oh man, the music. These, these fights always have fucking incredible music. Come on. Oh, dude, really? Give me let my charge hit off. So I get my uh, fuck you. Let's get my boost. Wait, wait. Shit. Oh, God damn it. I keep cycling through the... Fucking where is it? Okay. Can I counter? Yeah. I definitely can. I'm also bleeding out. This actually might be a good time to see if that divine water actually does heal. Uh... It doesn't. That lady fucking lied to me. I can counter him, but he will immediately counterattack back. Okay. Come on. Woo. Okay. This guy's uh, doing some damage. Come on, so stacking some shit. So what was my counter on this one? Uh, champion stay at square. There we go. Yeah, oh God, all of his text calls bleed and it really fucking hurts. Did I actually hit him? I think I did. All right, here we go. Speed. Uh-oh. Whoa, energy. Ugh. Holy shit, I got knocked down the ground, apparently. Come on. Let's go. Energy. Holy shit. He's getting even stronger. What is this deadly aura? Uh-oh. Ow, 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 ow. Ha! Ah! Oh, God, I'm on fire. Oh, magic. Dude, he's taking some extracts of his own, I think. Oh, I think I'm all right. He also restored some of his health, by the way. Ah! Okay. Oh, what the hell? There's fucking RC cars and they're exploding! That's where they're coming from! I didn't realize that. Oh, God, he's still healing. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Where are these RC cars coming from? I literally can't move. Dude. Bro? Bro? I need some fucking lettuce sandwiches here. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck you. Uh. What the hell? You're gonna use cheese so am I, bitch. Uh. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Now I'm faster. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I'm stuck. What is he fucking doing to me? Oh, he's fucking healing this piece of shit. Ah! Oh god, he's doing so. Oh, he's doing the slidey move. Okay, I'm all fucked up. Ah! Produce an hallucinogenic mist. Let's see if this does anything to you. Probably not, but let's try it. Uh, uh, uh. Get him, doggo! Uh. Uh. No, please spare me! Good job, Bernie Shiva. Okay, take some more of this. Uh. 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 I don't think he really gives a shit. Uh. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, monkey dicks. Okay, this definitely feels harder. Holy shit. This definitely feels harder. Which probably, and he keeps healing himself, which is probably makes sense. <laughs> because seriously, the game gives me so much shit. This should probably be bullshit, right? Okay, let's try this one. Savage Slam. Ah! Ah! Fuck you, dude! Ugh. Oh shit, does way less damage every time I do it, though. Oh my god. Oh, this guy's. This guy's. It's not doing as much damage now. Oh, is that? Oh, oh, I think we are. Are we following the same rules of. Dude, oh my god, he restores like a whole bar of his health. Oh, dude, I think I'm. I think I'm fucked. I think I'm actually screwed. He's like back to full health now. Might do the thing where we start just hitting him with the action. I can't even see him, dude. Come on. Jesus Christ. I have so much food on me. Rushing tiger. Yeah, fuck you. I thought that was you, him doing it to me. Ugh. Really? This is called my damage is greatly increased. God, I feel like I'm not doing anything to you. Does he have like a damage? He might have like a shield up. Remember all the ones having similar things. I don't know, maybe this is a gimmick. They usually do have, have gimmicks. They're not seeing really changing color or anything. Oh my god. This shit is insane, dude. It almost feels like you have to you have to kill him early. You don't. You're fucked. I'll give it to them, man. There, this is whipping my ass. Vital spirit. <laughs> I'm just talking to him. I'm trying to build up some gauge here. Oh, so he's healing pretty good, at least. His vital spirit. He's back to full health, but that's fine. Okay, I, I mean, I get the, the less damage for the heat actions, but... Oh, here we go. Yeah, how you like that, you bitch? That's what I need to get more of. Unfortunately, he keeps knocking me down, stunning me, and then I lose it. And then he fucking just, guys, really? Ah! Do I have anything to prevent stun? This shit's fucking me up, dude. I think I have to finally actually switch to one of these things that actually can get rid of my, uh, get rid of stun. All right, reduce stun duration by 40%. It's probably one even better than this. I have anti-stun contacts one. I mean, there's probably a two and a three, but hopefully this is at least good enough. 
Oh, there we go. That's that's way better. Two. Okay, this shit's. Trying to get punched in the dick, bro. Ugh! Oh, it's definitely. You know what it's making me feel like? I really need those attack boost things that I've been ignoring. I'm starting to feel it here. Unfortunately, everything up to this point is made me feel like. God, I don't, really don't need it. Dude, this fight is. This fight's on some crack. Oh, man. I think I'm. I'm gonna be fucked here, dude. Where's that DLC shit I had before? Can I still make that? I can't. Not the lightning blade, but I can do the insta flux. It's gotta close in now. Oh my god, he doesn't give a shit. Why I am pressing that button game? Fuck you. I am burning. Oh, I'm, I'm just dead, dude. What the hell? I think he, maybe he's just immune to it. I think he's just immune to it. Because I'm just not, I'm not doing anything. No way. Charging your S case allows you to eat access. Or shut the fuck up. So it starts off completely normal and then turns into absolute fucking crack. Dude, okay, you have to fucking go in. The moment that shit pops out, you have to go in hard. Next phase. Ah! Oh, this shit works pretty well. Oh, it's doing less and less damage, though. Looks like I can only do good for a bit. But I'll take it. I'm gonna keep doing it. To make him not play. Okay. Another one. This guy's been playing fair, neither will I. Attack break through the enemy's guard. That sounds useful. Oh, god damn it. Every punch heals himself, too. Fuck you. Okay, now that, that's a bad one. That's bad for this. This is not gonna work. Pin down an enemy with circle and press circle repeatedly for powerful strikes. Diplomatic. Sounds nice. Fuck oh. Okay, fine. We're gonna do this. Actually, I haven't, I haven't even done it yet, so it's, I can I can get the damage. God, you fucking motherfucker! No, don't do the help. Oh God, damn it, suck! I mean, you're still fucking. How long are you stunned for, dude? Oh my God, I can't fucking grab him, motherfucker! Oh. Okay, that's not gonna work either. I actually cannot make the Warriors onslaught, which sucks because that was probably the best one. Telekinesis. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. I'm using the force. What? Yeah, that's right. Feel my pain. Do it again. Okay. Not super great. Not consistent enough. Willow Snake. When he sticks out, it constantly deflect, recover health, and it'll also knock the opponents down when you deflect. Better work on this fucko. Okay. Sort of working. God damn it, it takes so long to get up, dude. I'm pressing the shit out of that button. I think I can deflect the fire, too. I think that's all I actually could. I'm so fucked, dude. Ugh. And then he just immediately gets back up. Doesn't give a shit. Just kill me, dude. Just kill me. I didn't press any buttons that time to see, and it actually didn't even... <laughs> it didn't seem to matter. He did the, it took the exact same number of hits. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, this is definitely no. Fuck you. All right, yep. We definitely reached bit bullshit territory. This one's gonna be up there, I think. I hate that this is the, the best one is the one I can't fucking do. Is there anything that actually heals your status effects from here? It doesn't look like there actually is. I kind of figured this would, but it, even though it says it cures any ailment, but it doesn't actually seem to. Fuck this. Guardian extract. I forgot, actually. I saw some, I saw some of the sample ones. Yeah, just uh, stun lock me, why don't you, you bitch? Like, I'm just mashing the shit. It doesn't matter. The game doesn't give a shit. Come on, die, you dick. Fucking die. Oh, God damn it, I was going on hard. It did seem like those were helping. I was going so hard, but he still wouldn't die. I can't forget, too, once this buff that I have actually permits me to get knocked down. Yeah, a t a, a immunity to knockdown. So, yeah, that would definitely help. Wait, I still got knocked down? What? Apparently, except for that. I had the bo the boost on, didn't I, or did it run out? No, I still had it. What the fuck? Apparently, that just breaks it, and I died. Yeah, it's like any attack that you've already done to him, he, like, he gets the resistance, too. Oh, 
<laughs> well, this kind of works. Sort of. But also not really. Okay, I just can't grab you when you're in that animation. Cool. Dude, that... Immune to knock down to my ass. I definitely had the buff on. So yeah, that's just... Yeah. I think one of those things that is like a tase. And that just doesn't... Isn't gonna work. Just kill me, dickhead. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, let's do this fight. It's cheap as shit. Cheap as shit. You gotta, you gotta be cheap as fuck on this fight yourself. It's definitely harder than the last game, Simone. Like, by a lot. Nice aim, Yagami, you stupid dickhead. Dude, how did that fucking hit me? I wasn't that close to it. Come on. All right, I got the Raptoral Spirit. I sure it's gonna be a fight I'm gonna be able to test it out on. Oh my god, fuck you, dude! Come on! Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Which this doesn't really do much damage to him. I can stun lock him, but it's not really killing him. And even then, it doesn't really stun lock him. This fight is some bullshit, man. Oh my god. I guess that's what I get, right? I was saying before, I'm like, yeah, you know what? This game's gonna have to pull out some serious horse shit for all the crap that it gives you. And it fucking does. It says, fuck you, Yagami, die. There is a whole bunch of shit that you, like this guy's playing a different game. There's a bunch of shit you can't do anything about. Use your extracts that break the game in half. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that. I just do so little damage to him. And what in the fuck, man? What in the fuck? Dude, just kill me. Fucking kill me, dickhead. All right, I'm... I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna get some fucking shit here. I need to look around. I want to make sure there's not some new armor or something that maybe has unlocked. Because this fight is fucking cracked out. This is easily one of the hardest Amon fights I think I've had in recent memory. And we have got more new gauntlet shit. We'll worry about that later. Oh, hey, look at this shit. Resistance shirt. A shirt with the reputation of being the ultimate crisis management apparel. Upper inner wear. Reduces stun duration, agony, and bleeding. That would be very helpful for this fight. Ooh, and resistance pants. Dope. All right, let's try this again, dickhead. Fucking god damn you, dude. You're such a cocksucker. I don't give two fucking shit. I'm gonna cheese the shit out of this thing if I fucking have to. This truly is the best extract. It really is. Oh my god, on the last one. Oh, get fucked, dude. Holy shit, my hand hurts from mashing circle. I was like, dude, if I let go, if I lose this combo, I'm fucked. <laughs> you, it is hard to get him back in that fucking endless loop. Holy shit. Three warrior extracts mm -hmm. on whatever the that one is. That's <laughs> what really what it took. I only had three uh, total bottles too, so I, I couldn't make five of them. Huh? We're back to where uh, we're now? Uh, impossible. How could I have lost? Dude, I do not feel bad about cheesing that one at all. That one was... That one, I felt like it expected you to cheese. This shit was... They went crazy with this one. This one, I've been actually one of the hardest ones yet. And truly one of the most bullshit ones. Haha. -ha. Didn't I tell you how tough he was? But nope, you never listened, do you? 
Whoa. How are you alive after taking such a huge fall? Never underestimate a moan. One of us could get hit by a dump truck and still walk away. Our training is no joke. That said, you really kicked some ass just now. That's the Yagami I remember. <sighs> Why are you so chummy all of a sudden? I thought you hated me. Brother, your loss to the Yagami only proves that this man is one of the strongest warriors to ever walk the earth. Isn't exiling me for losing Tim a bit extreme? By the logic, you'd have to exile yourself, you know. Gah. Curse you, Yagami. I won't forget this. Sing goes for you, Shin. Haha, -ha, we're friends now. No, we're not. I'm assuming my brother's non committal answer means I'm back in the clan. Anyway, I owe you my thanks. Mm. Wow, now you're thanking me? Talk about a complete 180. Oh, hey, doesn't this mean I owe you, like, a drink or something? After all, we're buds now. Yeah? I don't know how you arrive at that conclusion, but I'll pass. I've got a cases to solve and I don't know, shit. Dude, lighten up a bit, will ya? God. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be seeing you around. Love you. <sighs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> we did it! We did it! They're all done and I got a fucking Sega Master System game secret command! Maybe the greatest game ever for how fucking tough as nuts that shit was. It's elementary, my dear now, hell no! I, I mean, Yagami? Ugly all side case is not including DLC. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> they, uh, they definitely brought the heat with that one, man. I think I remember having a, a tough, as tough as nuts time with a, a moan fight since I think, like, <sighs> ugh, I don't know. Either Yakuza 0 or... I think it might have been Kiwami 1. Kiwami 1 was pretty tough, too. If I remember right, Kiwami 2 was not bad. I think it was pretty easy. I think Judgment, Last Judgment Games was not that bad. But this one was like, yeah, we they just went supreme bullshit. They wanted you to really go crazy with your extracts. So sadly, a lot of the extracts were kind of useless from what I, was, I could tell. I think the only good one was like the, the Guardian Spirit one. And then, of course, Warrior's Onslaught, which is easily the best one because it stun locks him and just goes through everything. <sighs> Dude, my hand hurts. Seriously. I was matching circles so bad. I'm like, don't let this combo go. Don't let it go. All right, guys, we did it. Look at this shit. Look at this beautiful completion. Oh, all side cases complete. Yes, we did it. Oh, yeah, better spend some points here. Actually, I think I'll just wait for 80,000 so I can get the, uh, the max health boost eventually. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. And already become Piggy Penguin. Oh boy, this SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. All right, guys, you know what that means? It is a straight shot to the freaking end at this point. We are in the final chapter, so there's not going to be probably much more left for the main story. We'll still have Kaido's DLC to check out, and that'll be kind of its own separate thing. But for the main game, I mean, usually at around this time, it's usually like maybe three episodes, maybe. I'd say probably at max. We'll uh, have to see. I, I don't imagine it's going to be like, yeah, next episode's the last one. I think it'll probably at least two, could be three. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.